Today we're going to talk about uh, the repair features over at MyHeritage where you can repair some of the scratches and missing pieces of your photograph for free. It helps with the grain and all that kind of stuff. You can check this out over at MyHeritage. I'm going to show you uh, kind of a step-by-step -step process on how to do this and some of the MyHeritage recommendations for doing this. Um, this has been wildly popular, so it, it's so easy. It is super easy to do. All you got to do is upload your photographs and play with it. Um, I'm going to show you uh, some examples of what works and what doesn't work uh, when we uh, get going here in just a minute. But hey, if this is your first time here, my name is Connie Knox. I am a lifelong genealogist here to help you go further faster and factually with your family history research. This is just a fun tool. We're going to play with it here in just a moment. Oh, and by the way, there is a handout for this for the information access level channel members. If you want to join, click the join button to learn more. Also know that there is a newsletter, a Facebook page, and a website. Links for all of that are in the show notes below. All right, let's jump into fixing some photographs. Okay, before you do anything, you have to have a MyHeritage account. You can start a MyHeritage account for free, and uh, that way you can upload the photographs because they've got to know where they're uploading it. And then once you're there, then you can start uploading photographs. Okay, so we're going to jump into it. I'm going to show you how to play with these photographs. Super easy. So all you have to do, this is the home page. You go to photos and here I've already uploaded a bunch of photos to play with. But if you want to upload photos, just click on upload photos and then you can just drag them over here or you can select them from your file. I have already uploaded a bunch of photos. We're going to experiment with a lot of things. There are really four things that we're going to look at. So let me, let me demonstrate. Let's take this photograph here. This is Henry Walter Knox. And what we're going to do is we're going to click on the repair button. Now, if you don't have the repair button, you want to come over here and click on these three buttons and the repair button might be in there, but if it's not showing up here. So in this case, for this photograph, what it did, there was a crease across the bottom here. Let me show you the before. See this giant crease across the bottom. And after it, managed to get rid of a lot of that crease. Let's see what happens if we enhance this photograph. And taking a look at it now, it looks like it has uh, actually done a nice job. Let me move this out of the way. It has done a nice job of cleaning up and softening the, the grain in the facial tones. Look at that. That's, that's pretty cool. And it is getting rid of a lot of that that crease that was across the bottom. It is never going to be perfect unless you're doing something in Photoshop. Let's see what it says when what happens with restore colors. Now keep in mind also that it keeps the original photograph. It does not ruin your original. Well that's interesting. It kind of took the sepia out of it and kind of took it back to a black and white. I'm not sure I like that a whole lot, but now let's really do some fun. Let's animate it. Wow, look at that. That is crazy. In some cases, it's kind of creepy, but in other cases, it looks really kind of interesting. So up here across the top, you can share this. You can download the video. You can animate in different styles. So let's go take a look at some of the different animations for this guy. It defaulted to animation number three. And now this is animation number one. And it does this from a photograph. This is crazy. In some cases, it doesn't always keep the eyes aligned perfectly, which I think kind of looks weird. Okay, so one of the things that I really want to talk about was the repair function. So this has already been repaired. I already clicked the repair button. And I wanted to show you the difference. See, this photograph has these awful cracks in it. And by showing you how that works, it's removed some of the spots, not all of them. 
And I asked uh, my heritage the question, can you run this a couple of times to remove additional spots? No, you can only run it one time. But this photograph is already dramatically improved uh, by removing those scratches. Now, let's do uh, an enhancement of this photograph. And by the way, my heritage recommends that you go in order that they have them here. So repair, enhance, then colorize, then animate, if that's what you want to do. You don't have to do all of these steps on all of them. But uh, taking a look at the before and after, now that it has been repaired and enhanced, uh, it, it has, on this enhancement, has softened it quite a bit. Let's, uh, let's colorize it and see what that does. Wow. Wow. That's some serious color coming back there. Isn't that interesting? I don't know that to be true colors. I don't think her hair had that kind of reddish tint to it, but you know what? It's still fun to play with. Uh, and this one doesn't look like it can be animated. Okay, now this one's really crazy because this is actually, uh, this is a painting, I believe, or it, I don't know, I've been trying to figure out exactly where this image originally came from, some of my ancestors. There's a couple different people in Ancestry who apparently were the original uploaders of it, but I believe this is a painting. And then it was cleaned up a little bit by somebody, okay? So I uh, had already enhanced this photograph before, but I want to do a repair on it just to see what happens. And look at that. It's it's already uh, picked up because I had already done the enhance and a colorized. Uh, it has now taken uh, this image. That was the original that I uploaded. And this is the latest version with repair, enhance, and colorize. That's pretty cool. That is uh, really quite lovely as far as a very old image um, of uh, my ancestors. Now this is really going to blow you away. And one of the reasons why I wanted to do this, I want to show you the animation on this one because there's two people in it. It's going to ask me which person do I want to select? And I am going to select her because this will blow your mind. This is from a painting, you guys. Can you believe it? Wow. All right, now I'm going to do him. And while he is animating, I'm going to tell you a quick story. He was killed at the battle at Fort Hamby in North Carolina, in Wilkes County, North Carolina. After the Civil War, there was a bunch of soldiers who had, uh, you know, basically became a band of rebels and were terrorizing the neighborhoods and he and a couple of guys got together and tried to confront them and ended up getting shot to death uh, up there in Wilkes County. So while I was telling his story I was actually animating all these different um, number seven, number eight, number nine uh, just to see how uh, he comes back to life. He died in 1865 defending his family. The whole story is told in this article found on Ancestry.com. If you just keyword search in the card catalog, keyword search Hamby, uh, this is the only thing that pops up. And it tells the story about how Henry Henley died in 1865. If you'll notice by uh, stringing several of those animations together, you can kind of tell a story. It continues to move and uh, it can help tell your family history story. A couple things you should know is that there is a limit on the number of uh, images that you can doctor for free. I haven't hit that limit yet, but uh, I'm just letting you know that if you're doing this for free, choose your worst pictures first that you want to try. Now, I, and speaking of worst pictures, I'm going to show you the limitations of what this can do. Because, for example, this little image here... This little image here cannot be repaired. I've already run it through the repair function and there is not a lot of repair it can do. Basically, it's looking for those white areas and it's taking out those white areas. But as you can see, uh, this image is so badly damaged uh, that it can't be repaired. 
I have tried to do this in Photoshop, as a matter of fact, and it is really a rough picture. Um, basically has to be uh, redrawn. One of the things that I want to do is I want to see if an image that has type on it, such as this, if the repair will try and fix that. And actually, this is a situation where the repair is not showing, so we have to come to the three dots and hit repair. And let's see what happens if it tries to remove this, the font that's in this uh, photograph. Okay, so it did not, which is good. Uh, this image really didn't have any anything that really needed to be repaired. But let's take a look and see what Enhance does. Ooh, I like that. Look at that. It basically cranked the contrast up enough to really make that image stand out. Now, these guys have some great character faces. Let's see what um, Animate can do with that. But first, um, well, you know what? I'm going to jump to Animate because we've already gone through the whole process. You know, we're trying to see what the limitations are here. So let's animate uh, this guy. I love this face. So I'm going to hit Animate and see what happens. So I have to select the guy, and I want this guy here because I just love this, this uh, character in his face. Interesting. He doesn't quite know how to handle that second eye in the shadows. Let's try this guy. He's got a little bit more sunlight on his face. This one works better. See now, this is one of the things that I had heard that my heritage was trying to have a challenge with is because you have a mustache that covers the mouth and so the mouth lines aren't super visible and but because of the amount of detail that he already had in his eyes uh, I think that is that is uh, a lot more realistic let's try let's see what happens when we put smile on Wow, they actually gave him teeth underneath that mustache. Look at that. Just for a brief moment, we showed oh, that's interesting. All right, here's one that we haven't tried sideways. Wow, they're really moving the eyes around on this one. That's just amazing. It's like looking at an old black and white photograph. And remember, we didn't colorize this one. That's crazy. And again, you can download these and, you know, edit them together as. Uh, you know, a, a home video. All right, for grins and giggles, I want to try something really, really hard. I know that the repair function probably can't handle this image of George W. Simmons. This is, talk about bad. This is a photograph that was in a newspaper, which was then uh, probably Xerox copied or something. So you can't even you can't even see the eyes in the original photograph. I would die to get a hold of the original photograph. This is the only photograph known of George W. Simmons and it, you know, is a copy of a copy of a copy. So let's see if repair can do anything with it. Not much. In fact, I would say it didn't do anything other than just add a little contrast. We can try enhance, but I I don't expect much. Yep. It, it, it's a hopeless cause on that one. All right, let's go back to the photographs. <laughs> we should try the doll. <laughs> oh, wouldn't that be funny? Well, it did not pick the doll. Isn't that cute? Let's try this one. Yeah, now this is a situation where the eye is really having problems. It, it's, it's not handling that one at all. That's sad. Let's try, this is clearly uh, some sort of pastel or ch charcoal kind of drawing. Not a lot going on there, which is fine. All right, let's look at han enhanced. All right, so it cranked the contrast on that, which is nice. Let's see what colors do, even though this was originally not colorized at all. It's trying to add some color in the lips and in the background. 
Well, what the heck? Let's animate this. That's crazy. Wow. And this defaulted to animation number six for some reason. I want to play that again. It might have to do with the position of the head in the photograph, too. I love it. All right, so this is the before. This is the after. There was a lot of enhance going on there. And I've got to animate this. Oh my gosh, that is just too creepy. I think of all the images that I have been playing with, I have enjoyed this one the most as far as being able to go from before and after and then to be able to animate it. I mean, look at that animation. That's crazy. And I'm not even positive that this was a painting originally. It may have been uh, one of those photographs that was painted on top of. I don't know. But uh, I think this is probably the coolest one. All right, there you have it. Uh, that is the best I can give you on the My Heritage photo enhancement stuff. Play with it. You know, you can do it for free. And as a reminder, there is a handout for this. If you want to join the channel membership, join at the information access level to get the handout. And well, as always, it is time for you to go find your ancestors. There are more videos on the screen, so check it out.